Hey there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden. Welcome to the Geek Group. We're hanging out here today with Ollie, Hello. who came all the way from England to be here. From Wells. Not Wales. Wells. Very, very tiny town of like eight people in the south of England. But you're here. Yep. All the way to America to come and play with High Voltage here at the Geek Group. So Very much. How long have you been a member? Uh, about six months. Yeah? Okay. So, and you digging it? You like the lab? Yeah, it's good. Is it, does it make up for like all the videos? Does it, is, are the videos an accurate representation of the craziness here? Yeah. Cool. All right. We've also got Silvano with us, head tech for AI. He's hanging out. He's hiding off over here. He's playing tech. He's, he's our electrical tech for the show. <laughs> he, he plugs things in. So yeah, so what we've got is we've had uh, a couple members over every now and then, uh, one just recently, that post in the forums, uh, we, we get a recurring thing where somebody will get a new transformer. And they're new to high voltage and they're like, dude, I got, I got, a, I got an NST and a Dixie cup and a thumbtack. What can I do? And I get these posts all the time. So we figured I would take a minute and just make a quick video and show you guys a basic thing you can do with pretty much nothing more than a neon sign transformer and stuff you have laying around your house. And it's really easy to do. Um, it's a very simple type of high voltage motor. It serves pretty much no practical purpose whatsoever. I'm sure you could build pretty versions of these and sell them to the new age weirdos saying it's some kind of free energy thing that'll cleanse your Teslan waves or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty much it's a high voltage pendulum. It's a very simple type of motor. And we're going to show you how to build one. So all you need that is weird is a neon sign transformer. And if you're watching this video, you probably already have one. So here's how you do it. And please feel free to modify this in any way you want, but I'm just going to show you a basic system that works for us. What we have is a neon sign transformer. We've got a lab stand with a clamp up on top. And we've got um, two cans here of Monster Energy Drink. Um, you can do this with pretty much any kind of can you want. Just these are what we had laying around. And it's really easy because they're tall, so it makes things easier. We have this which is the ball that we always use when we make an electrostatic pendulum around here. It was, I don't know what it is originally, I think it was a cannonball or something like that. It was given to us by Mr. Matt Deming, who is about three days older than Dirt and just one of the greatest members in the geek group. He's a fabulous guy. And if this is a cannonball, it's bronze. It may date from the Bronze Age, which means he might have made it in high school. So yeah, we've got that. We've got some magnet wire, which is nothing special. Just plain old everyday magnet wire. This is about 22 gauge by the looks of it. So yeah, it's pretty much all you need. Here's how to do it. Um, our ball has two little holes in the top. We'll get a shot there. Show them the holes, Mikey. There, see, tiny little holes right there. And what I'm going to do is bend the wire and we'll put this through the holes like that. And then we pull this out and twist it on. Now, I know I'm going to get people writing in once you see this, how it works. They're going to say, oh, copper work hardens. It does. Copper does work harden, which for those that have no idea what I'm talking about, means if you take a piece of copper wire and you just bend it and bend it and bend it, it will get hard at the point where it bends. As you bend a piece of copper, it gets hard. It gets more brittle. As it gets more brittle, hold the ball, please. It, uh, you, you got to go that way. It uh, will break at that spot. And in this case, the pendulum would fall down, and that would be bad. Keep going. Get, march. That's enough. However, in doing that with the pendulum here, we've never done it and had it break. So I'm not really worried about it. This isn't the kind of thing that we leave up and running for years on end. Um, so now we've got a ball and a wire. I'm going to climb right up here and do this the easy way. All I'm going to do is mount the ball, OK, that's the bottom there, on the stand. I just want a couple inches on the bottom. I'm just going to wrap this around a thread. This is just a regular like, laboratory glassware stand, the kind of thing you'd use to clamp a flask or a test tube. I'm just going to put a couple turns around the top here, keep things from sliding around. And then I'm going to run the wire back. And I'm just going to wrap it loosely a couple times around here. Basically, I'm doing the thing you do to a mic stand to keep the cable from being wobbly. Because 
this is all going to be at about seven and a half thousand volts in a few seconds. And well, I don't want to die that way. Having the wire just flopping around would be bad. So there, we've got that. And there's our high voltage feed. And give that a nice little loop around. Out like that. Take it to there. And see, you thought I was nuts pulling all that off, but we only had like a foot left. See, I'm professional. Professional. Mad skills. I ought to be on TV. <laughs> all right, so I'm just scraping off some of the insulation on here, which is just, it's magnet wire, so it's just an enamel insulation. And I'm going to connect that to one side of the neon sign transformer. You can do this with things other than neon sign transformer. This works great with like furnace ignition transformers and stuff like that. Totally cool for this. So there, this is all at high voltage now. You, you got to remember that. It isn't just the wire here. The whole metal rod up the middle will be at high voltage and it will bite you if you're not paying attention. I'm going to loosen that and get it out in front. Okay. Now, we've got a pendulum. And it works. Ta-da! Now, this is grounded. So this, in theory, is safe to touch. I would not make a habit of touching things out here. So what I'm going to do is give the pendulum a bit of a swing. I've got this large base for the ring stand. So I've only got so much space that I can work with. What I'm going to do is push the ball off one ball width off each side. And that's where I'm going to put a can. that. Now, if this works, it'll act like a, a simple form of motor and keep going. Plug it in. Now, I'm going to bring the cans in. There. And you'll have to find the right spot because it won't have enough. It, it gives it a little tiny push every time it goes. So you've got to keep bringing the cans in until it keeps going. But once you find the balance point, it'll just magically work. And it'll keep on working for as long as you have it plugged in. You just got to be really careful not to touch any of this. And like a lot of things in high voltage, it's kind of twiddly and you got to get everything just right. But once you've got it, you'll be able to tell because if, without it, see, it'll, it'll drift down a little. All right, there, we've got it stable. And now you know how to build your own high voltage motor at home with just stuff from around the house and a neon sign transformer. And uh, that's pretty much the basis of it. What do you think? Pretty cool. You've, you've learned a valuable practical skill now. Yep. So you could do this for a living. Or oh, I could just drink the monster. Yeah, you can, you can drink the monster. Do you, do you want one? After you turn it off, it's probably best. Which one do you want? That one. This one? Yeah. Okay. That one? It's totally safe. <laughs> now, does it taste weird? Is there anything wrong with it? No, it yeah, it's fine. totally fine. There. So, you guys have fun. Oh, I totally messed it up now. We'll have more for you next time. That's uh, Ollie with the Geek Group, Chris, Silvano, rocking out. You guys have fun. We'll have more for you later. And uh, yeah, that's it for today at the lab. See you guys.